all right massive and crew dj cool breeze here once again in this video i will be showing you how to set up your dmx address in sound search so in the previous video i showed you how to add venues and add fixtures to your library now you want to set those fixtures to the correct dmx address so to do that the first thing you want to do is go over to your dmx button right here and you will notice you have to the right you have four fixtures one two three four and then um on your fixtures dmx works with um different addresses so each fixture would have from one to 512 that's the number of addresses on there and then if you notice when i was adding the fixtures the fixtures has different channel modes so for example if you notice the first fixture right here it's in 12 channel mode so that means that fixture is used in 12 channels so in sound switch each venue has 512 channels what that means is you can add a fixture on any one of the 512 channels however if the fi fixture takes up um, 12 channels you will use 12 channels from that 512 so for example now the first fixture with this blue one right here it uses channel 1 to 12 and then the second fixture which is also in 12 channel mode uses from 13 to 24 and the other two which is also in 12 channel mode uses up the other 12 channels each so we use up 48 channels in total on sound switch and that is something to be mindful of because even though sound switch gives you the option to actually overlap channels so you can add two fixtures using the same channel that can cause some conflict if you're not doing it right because there are some applications where you might want to add a couple fixture to the same channel address but in order for simplicity and until you understand DMX and addressing some more, you want to keep everything simple by adding each fixture to its own um, channel or address. So that's how you ensure that everything is right. So SoundSwitch, however, would once you add those fixtures in order, SoundSwitch will actually place them in order of how you to how you add them. So that's how you make sure everything is right with your address in SoundSwitch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click done right here and go back over to my sound switch window so now you have fixtures inside your venue you want to start adding some programming to your songs so i'm just gonna go ahead and I'll open this crate right here and show you what is going on so in this crate you'll notice this sound switch logo beside my file beside my music file this means that this file has sound switch data written to it so if i go ahead and load up this file it will come up like this where see all this data this is just showing all information that sound switch has written to this file if i play it back it will reflect in my lights so i'm gonna go ahead and go back to my crate i'm gonna select another file which has no sound switch data once I do that, you notice this file comes up, but it has nothing on it, so it's a blank file. So we can go ahead and start writing sound switch data. So in the next video, we'll touch that topic. If you like, subscribe, and share. Once again, I'm DJ Cool Breeze. One love.